Hey guys, my name is Lauren from Airguns of Arizona, and today we're going to be looking at siding in your scope. So we're going to be looking at how do we move the scope and where do we set it to actually get to a solid point. Now we've already done the mounting of the scope, you've unboxed it, you've gotten the mounts on there, the gun is set up, aired up, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and sight in our scope. Today I'll be using a Daystate Red Wolf 22 caliber high power. I'm using an Akitak bipod, a zero dB moderator, as well as a Collis K10 to 50 scope. So let's check it out and uh, we see where we start. I would start personally at shooting a target kind of in the middle of the page, right? We don't know where it's gonna go. Our turrets up here are set to zero because that's how they come from the factory generally. And if they don't, it would be advisable to set them to zero. And let's just take a shot and see where it hits. Okay, I saw where that one hit. That one hit about an inch low, an inch to the left. So this is an MOA scope and one MOA at 100 yards is one inch, right? So we're at 25 yards right now. So theoretically, if I'm an inch low at 25 yards and this is one and eighth clicks, it's gonna take me about 30 clicks to sight it in. So I can work it out by using a lot of math or I can just trial and error it and dial a bunch of clicks. But it's gonna take you quite a lot of clicks. Don't be, don't be afraid to click a lot like one or two clicks will be a very slight adjustment at 25 yards so I'm gonna go ahead and the turrets will tell you which way you want to shoot so I'm gonna rotate this counterclockwise to go up right because I was shooting low and to the left so I'm going up with just a bunch of clicks right that and now I'm gonna go towards me to turn to the right. So if I turn it towards me, I go right. If I turn the turret away from me, I'll go to the left. Okay, so I just turned it a bunch of times. I'm gonna shoot at the same target and see where it hits. Okay, that only moved it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a little bit more. I'm going to move up again, counterclockwise. I'm turning my turret counterclockwise to move my shot up. Oh my gosh, I'm almost there. So I just nicked it off to the left-hand side. So that was almost enough clicks, and now we're getting into that fine adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my side turret, my windage turret, towards me about five clicks. And I'm gonna go down just maybe one click. And we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, I was almost there. It's quite windy today, so that's worth mentioning. So it's a little bit tough to get some really, really good shots here. I'm gonna try on a different target now. Oh my gosh, I just got it. And like that, my gun is sighted in perfectly. My gun is sighted in now, and right now I can either count the amount of clicks or read the number off of here, which would be a 43.8, or I could get little scope stickers and stick them on here to get the exact number on here, and that way I mark this as 25 yards, and I always know to refer back to it. Or alternatively, I can always just leave it at 25 yards, and this is what's called sighted in at 25 yards. So a lot of times people will ask you, what distance is your scope sighted in or your equipment sighted in for? So now this is sighted in for 25 yards. If I wanna shoot at 50 yards, 
I can either hold over or I can click to get to 50 yards. But that's every person's choice and it depends on what kind of shooting you're doing. Competition style, people tend to click more and in hunting aspect, people tend to hold over more. Okay, so that was the harder way of doing things. Now we have a shorthand way of doing things when you're on a solid bench like this. So I'm gonna turn my scope back to zero and then show you how to sight in your gun with maybe one or two shots. So I've reset everything to zero. So I'm gonna take another shot again and see where it hits and then we can go from there, okay? Okay, so I reset to zero. Now I took my shot and I saw it landed low and to the left. So if your turret says you go up or you want to shoot up, you're shooting low, you wanna shoot higher. Inside of the scope, your reticle is going to move down. It's very small, you can almost not see it and you have to have a very steady base to do that from. If you are shooting to the left and you wanna shoot right, you'll turn your scope towards the right, as it says, but inside the scope, it, the reticle will move to the left. So we're gonna check this out now and I'm gonna show you as I'm doing it and we're gonna basically try to turn it to the same place. Okay. So over here, I'm holding the gun steady where I aimed. So now I'm gonna reach over and adjust the reticle until I'm almost at the same level as where I hit. Like that. See how I'm almost at the same level? Now I'm gonna move over to my windage. See how I'm almost inside that shot that I just hit. So I'm gonna take another shot and see how it goes. That was pretty close. So in one shot, two shots, I basically sighted in my gun. Maybe I can do two or three clicks off and I didn't even look at where I was before. So that's how you sight your gun in with just two shots. First, take a look at where it is and then have a very solid base. Adjust your reticle while you're looking through the scope to see where it's gonna adjust to. So as you can see, my clicks are pretty close. Right now I am at 43.2, so I'm like three clicks off from where I was before. Very, very close method, and as you can see, very, very accurate method as well. Something I would recommend for any shooter out there that has a little bit of experience and just wants to get it done really quick. But again, you need to have a very solid base and be sure that you can do it. If you're moving around just a little bit, that's gonna move your target off, so. That's just a quick tip if you're in a rush or wanting to get it done really quick. If you're at a bench rest match and you've just taken off your scope and repaired your gun and now you have to get back into the game, that's how you get in the game really quick. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys very much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips on how to sight in your air gun, mount up a scope and everything else there is to do with air guns. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time.